So, hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Asara Tourist. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing. If you're my beautiful returning, Sadia Agla, thank you so much for coming. And yes, right now I'm going to Ginger Town. I'm going to do a small car shopping for one of my subscribers. So, my subscriber from the US called me that someone in Kujiri. A long story so it's like this one of our village community members died when she was giving but so but the baby is with a grandma so i'm just going there to see her to see the the situation and if we can we can help and yeah raise that kid because that's what we have to do to raise other people's um lives to show light show love and support so i'm just going there to visit the grandma and see how she is and the cute baby i can't wait to um i have to buy milk then the bottle some cloth and to go and see that when next time i go i know what to buy so that's what i'm going to go to do that side yeah but right now i'm going to town to do a small car shopping see me in town as i'll be shopping for the baby by the way um my friend my subscriber in the u.s sent me 50 dollars and that's what i'm going to use to go and to go there i'm going to go i'm going to use a border because um i don't know that place so the border guy said he knows that place matovu yeah so i'll be using haim to go we'll be going slowly slowly i'm a little bit scared of the border but i'm going to use it yeah, see me in town as I'll be buying and then to see the baby. I can't wait to see that cute little soul. Yeah, yeah, see me. And yeah, baby, I had forgotten my Miss Leslie. Thank you so much. I'm looking cute. Yeah, this uh, mask was gifted me by Miss Leslie. Sister? I love you. Thank you. I'm looking cute. I'm, pro I'm protected with a mask. Wow. So guys, I'm just from town. These are the things. Let me turn the camera and show you. So yeah, these are the things that I bought for the baby. So hey guys, I have just reached in this town, it's called Matovu and yeah, I can't wait to go and check on the baby, I hope she's now fine and this is the plus my border guy and this is the box so let us rush home it's really hot i've been waiting for him that guy who's going he's the one who knows the um, the baby and the grandma so let us go there so hey guys i have just reached in the family and our beautiful cute baby he is here he's cute he's beautiful and i just want us to have a conversation and i know that oh honestly honestly this family needs our help how our prayers and comfort so yeah let me give my border guy to do a cameraman things so that we can be talking and you can understand more for me i just love when we hear from their mouth not mine you know so yeah let me give him the camera and we start talking so hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel at sad worries if you're new here kindly consider subscribing if you're my beautiful returning subscriber and you haven't shared my video at least share this one because the more you share the more people we get and the more people we reach to and the more people that who may want who may love to help you can help us through sharing through giving out or through prayers anything as right now i just want to show you our cute little boy his mama time jesse jesse oh a beautiful name same as that one he's called jesse and wow he's asleep he's sleeping yes so um so right now guys i just want to hear the story what happened and how so our pastor is going to explain by the way by 
either way, um, the reason is why we get to know about this beautiful baby and the situation behind him. It's because of the pastor that have been moving around teaching the endiga, you know, and he came to know other people and other people shared. That's why I'm saying sharing is good because they shared, they shared to America and then it come back to me who is in Uganda. And right now it's going to meet everyone in the world who come across this video. So our pastor is going to explain us to us what happened and what can we do for the baby and then the grandma. So the pastor, anything that what really happened? Yeah. Little, little. Yeah, yeah. So, yali yali Kenya, mm. kati we yali inga atu se Kenya, mm. bambi unfortunately, mm. um, vise review kubanga she's giving birth, au mukuzala, mm. uh, yazala vulunji, then yamala ya kolachi, yeah, yafa. Oh, nga chibi. So guys, he was explaining that. So guys, he was explaining that um, the mother of our beautiful little boy here, his hair, mm. that she was, she went to Kenya for work as usual, as me, I went to Dubai the other days and then she got pregnant, she gave birth well and within the first one week, yeah. that one week when she have even breastfeeded her, that's when she, hey, just before, mm. So after birth, she just died, but after breastfeeding him. So, yeah, that's now the situation we are in. And yeah, so, Makola Mutu accumulate home with him. So I asked how they did to bring the body from that Kenya to Uganda and they said they used the ambulance um, with some, a little bit of money and then they brought her here and guys, they buried her in this compound here right now but I will show you that later. So how have you been seeing it? How is the struggles with the baby? Umana, how is he? Mm. So yeah, of course right now the kids needs our support as um as Tim Sarah um I just pray that may this boy grow up well, you know. Yeah, may he really grow up and have a beautiful life. Yeah. I'm just hoping I know right now he needs a lot, but with the time when we will start slowly, slowly, he will be okay with the time. So mama we will try our best
Dimson fina wewe vale kuba anti wakolo lugambo fina tu achitegera cause this umuntu asobola tegera chintu ya asirika ya kuba nzebe tibinge ma kwa that's not part of me but thank you so much for sharing this information information with other people so that ya tutuka ku and right now is going to reach other people to come and I know that boy will be helped for sure. So guys, for right now, I just want to go and show you the home where they live and then the, um, the grave. Then I'll be giving them those things that I bought. Of course, you know, Tim Sarah, we always do everything with evidence. Then I will change because someone cannot hear what I did and I did and say that it will be good. I did and I did and I did and I that's that's really good. I just feel okay when everyone knows that it's that. Anyways, let me go and show you the grave. Um, yeah. So, guys, this is the baby. Yeah, and she have done. He have done something on me, but this is love. They say it's it's love. <laughs> so, guys, this is the <coughs> grave for our beautiful sister. She is here and. This is a swamp area. I was scared that anything like rain can come and just pull off everything. Why didn't I take so a mad because we're looking at that guy? I'm mad. So, guys, as you can see, this side, this is like a well where you can get water. See. So, this is the place. Oh, he. Olisa, Olisa, ko abu. But na ngoma mira kero kosa gana amadi. How old are you? But where are you? Oh, this is not clean water, please, okay? Mwana na jakuluala. And then this is the house. I'm just happy that at least they have a house, maybe to be need. Just. And so, guys, this is the house. Um, this is the inside. Honestly, I will not go inside, but here this is how it looks. Yeah, it has the room, and then the bedroom, and then the sitting room. At least it's a big house, which is good. That's how the house looks. And this is the kitchen. Um, you may form the... Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh, this. Hey. Yeah, they cook from. Okay, so guys, this is the kitchen. This is where she cooks from the food for the baby. And what I have seen, they use firewood. And right here, I don't see any, like they even struggle to get firewood. Yes. Guys, see this whole thing. Even here, they are, they are growing rice. This is a swamp. Like, if it rains, just because right now it has not rain, but I know if it rains, the baby will be really sick. He will need a blanket, overalls, and some things. And that's what I wanted to come say so that next time when I'm coming here, we know what exact thing that we are going to buy for the baby. But this is a really sad situation. It's really sorry. I'm just feeling sorry for the baby, the mother, the grandmother. It's and even the people in this village because I know even when they think about it, it's really, really bad. Ah, uh, this was her first born, and I was told that she was 17, 17, 18, 17 years, and because of this COVID, she stopped studying. Standard, even if the problem was, the mother was poor. Yeah, she so. had to go to look for the jobs in Kenya. Yes. So that is it, and that's how she died. I think maybe she died because the mother wasn't around. Was she with someone in the hospital? Uh, Yari Oku with somebody. His sister. Hey, Her she, sister. Ah, okay, there. Mm. I think that was fine. So that is it, guys. This is the home. This is the family. And we really, they really, honestly, me too, we really need to support this family. It's not that far from where I stay. Um, I think it's like two hour drive on a border. And for the border, I was safe because I did not get a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I will end up going very far away the place was near here. But anyways, guys, let me go show you what I have bought for the kids. And we'll get to know what... Mm, the bathroom. Oh! Oh! So this is the bathroom. Oh, very short. Oh, I'm going to that one. So guys, this is the bathroom. And then the toilet. 
and guys just know that this is the swamp area when it rains that toilet i think teddy wale in it five feet it's five feet so they really need to construct at least a big like when i'm going to get a little something high so that when they are coming yeah move move it up yeah so basically this is the home this is how it looks yeah Rebecca, so guys, this we her books before the COVID, because uh, you know when COVID came in, all the schools were closed, and she had to go to Kenya to look for something. That when COVID is over, she will come back and study. But these were her books, honestly, and we have been looking for her picture. She's that one, yeah, that you can't see her face. Yeah. That is it on this side. Pastor Niwa Wane, no? Yes. Yeah, he's the pastor here. Mm. So she was getting baptized. Thank you so much for teaching the gospel. Mm. So, yeah, that is her. So for the, some pictures, we are still looking for them, but maybe if we we'll find them next time, I'll come and give you a full face of her. But, yeah. So guys, right now these are the things that I managed to bring and um, next time when I'll be coming, I think there will be more because they will need food, they will need some clothes for the baby because I did not get the clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So guys, I went to the doctor and asked him about the baby and they told me you go and look for something which has number one and yeah, the, it says <coughs> from zero to six months, yeah, this is the miracle for them. Yes. Yeah. So I bought two tins, Ganku Misa Tulusans, yeah, it's here. Yeah. Yeah. This Vaseline is for kids. Yeah. Now, when I was up, I was up. 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 I was so guys, and even this soap on a baby sabuni wa mwana kumunaza. Haba mwuru onji ino. Na mwuru ane vile vizi kukampu ni mbali uyu. Mira wuna vuru onji. Yes, I'm clean. So ni eno, eno boto woma. Mwanda mwuna mwuri mboto. Ofumba mata, wanga kaka gundi. 
katugeze oli mtu alamu polio gundi yeba mchayi wo aba mune neba esu yayo neliyo tikilasiki aba mune mune de mbote so buti wata muno chayi wata muno wabika ku obuyire wasuka ngayendo kuwaka otola yo kutola kaboto ngo mu wato ino dinazanga bulunjo kutalwaya kwanga ino boto dona dirwaza abana Water <laughs> By the way, oh, is there no? We have already seen that Kanako Munda is there. Kanu, Kona Kato, Kona Kato. Then you know what I mean. Kato, I mean Kanako Munda. Then you know what I mean. Kona wa Kanaz. The one some of my comments. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So, guys, that's that's. This that we have managed to bring for her today, but next time, inshallah, when we get more things, we will come and again give her. Because she needs the cloth, the blanket, the overload, the, the socks, the caps, of coffee, the whole community. Yeah, she needs all of that. But, anyways, guys, um, yeah, this is what we have right now, and thank you so much for watching, for loving me, for subscribing, for helping those in need. Thank you so much. Love you. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that you are not going to get so, hey guys, we are still here, and um, I just wanted a little story, but it's worth it saying. So they say that um, when the girl gets pregnant, she wanted to run away, as we, as we do girls, you know that, as we do, we just want to run away. You don't want your parents to know, and she ended up not telling her mother who, who was the father of the baby. And for right now, we can't trust anyone, we can't say anything, we don't know where can we find him, and he's not coming up. Because if he heard that he, she died, she would have come up and take the responsibilities, but he have not come up. I think maybe he'll come up in future or what, we don't know. But for right now, as we don't know what, to, what the father is, we can stand as a country, as the world as a team and support this baby. He's just only one baby, I know we can make it. Yeah, so the rest, the cloth, I did not buy the cloth because I just wanted to come here and see and see the situation we think should I buy. Cause someone can tell you that the baby is there, but when they have, when he has some cloth, eh, when he needs other things, not cloth, but I have seen she needed cloth. Yeah, so next time I'm going to go in the central, buy cloth, buy a blanket for her and sweater because i know it's going to start the rain season is starting very soon so she will need to be warm at night and then a net for her so yeah we still have more things so if you have anything even if one dollar one dollar can buy two clothes of this baby so let us support the baby let us support the boy and yeah he is crying baby
anyways guys that's what we have for today thank you so much for watching for loving me for subscribing for loving sana tourists this is what i and my subscriber from the u.s have managed to do thank you so much we love you and these people they are very grateful mama can speak on him <laughs> Hey, mama told him so. I was I was feeling her accent. She's not so kind. I'm 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 thinking where. But yeah, she's from Mbali. Mbali which side? Busi. Busi. Mbali Busi. So guys, if you're from Mbali, she is your mom, she is your sister, she's your grandma. So yeah, comment down below. Are you from Mbali? And we know your accent. I love it. Did you tell you? <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much for watching, for loving me, for loving my channel, for always coming back, for subscribing, and as always, don't forget to do what? Subscribe. 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 Love you all. Bye-bye. So guys, as we have been summarizing up, we have been discussing about how we can be getting the milk from the cow every day. And they said um, we can get for a month, we can pay a month, and it's, and it's just a little money. I think like $5 a month, which is fair. Yeah, so I think that's, that's what we are going to do next time. Next time when I'll come, I'll pay that money for the, for the milk then buy some clothes for the baby because she totally doesn't have mm. she doesn't have yeah so next time maybe inshallah next week i'll be coming and yeah but the next week <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, for your baby one go wound. Ah, like it. Just in digging my gum, I don't want to go and be your king, give me a cavy.